separation of meta nitro aniline from meta dinitro benzene using a, a reducing agent which is sodium disulfide so we'll be preparing a reduction product where out of the two nitro groups only one would be reduced so we'll be using a selective reducing agent where you can see there are two nitro groups but and without any protection we are doing the reduction of only one nitro to nh2 both the nitros i use a stronger reducing agent like tin and hcl like many other strong reducing agents i will be not be able to carry out this partial reduction so basically we are doing a partial reduction reaction where out of the two nitro groups only one is reduced and you get a product which is meta nitro aniline the reducing agent has to be prepared in c2 using sodium sulfide and sulfur to prepare sodium disulfide as the in c2 reducing agent so this is the reaction all about and now let us see what are the chemicals that you need in this reaction the chemicals required are obviously you need the reactant which is meta dinitro benzene we take 5 grams of it we take sulfur powder approximately 2 grams and sodium sulfide sulfide which is 8 grams so you need these chemicals three different chemicals in order to prepare or in order to have the reduction reaction which is partial which is not complete reduction reaction okay so first of all you need to prepare this in c2 reducing agent only when you prepare this reducing agent you will be able to carry out the reduction of the meta dinitro benzene to meta nitro aniline so let us see how the in c2 reducing agent is prepared so you to prepare sodium disulfide as the in c2 reducing agent you first of all take 8 grams of sodium sulfide in 60 ml of water and to it add 2.1 gram of powdered sulfur so you take sodium disulfide and to that you add your powdered sulfur and you have to heat the mixture gently with constant stirring you will heat it till you get a uniform mixture and till your reducing agent is prepared it will take a while because it does not dissolve so well so it will take a while and you would find that after some time you would prepare the a clear solution is formed and that is the reducing agent has been prepared once the reducing agent has been prepared you would take your reactant which is meta dinitro benzene approximately 5 grams to it and you will dissolve it in water and heat it because meta dinitro benzene does not dissolve to, it does not dissolve fully but you will try to maximize dissolve in water you can heat it to boiling you can keep on heating the contents to boiling and after the contents have started to boil what are the contents just simply water and your reactant which is meta dinitro benzene so once you have done that what you will do is you will then transfer it to a separating funnel you will transfer it to a separating funnel and you will put it on a stand you have never seen a separating funnel but a separating funnel i will show you how does it look like so you will take a separating funnel and you will add your reducing agent which you have prepared in step number 1 to the separating funnel and below you have the reactant which is the meta dinitro benzene dissolved in water that is keep and you and that is being heated constantly being heated and you will then open the separating funnel and drop wise start adding your reducing agent which is sodium disulfide which you have prepared in c2 by dissolving sodium sulfide in the presence of sulfur so once you have added the entire contents which is the entire reducing agent to your reactant you will boil it for 10 to 15 minutes more and after that you will allow the solution to cool down. once the solution has been cooled you will add 50 ml of hot water to it vigorously shake the contents and you will filter it through a funnel hot solution you will filter it through a funnel and you would find that beautiful yellow crystals of your product which is meta nitro aniline starts to separate 
once they start to separate out you can recrystallize it with boiling water again but because then you will filter those crystals you would then filter them keep it on the keep it you can dry them but for example they're not very clear sometimes they can be dark brownish they can have a yellow dark yellow vein so you need to remove the impurities they can be removed by again dissolving it dissolving it in hot boiling water and filtering it and once you will keep it settled you will find that there will be shiny yellow crystals of your product are being separated out you can again refilter them you can dry them weigh them calculate the percentage yield and the melting point of the product to see the purity when if you get a sharp melting point that means the pure product has been obtained so that is a reaction of a partial reduction so you must know so since you've done oxidation and reduction is of two types you'll be studying both complete reduction and partial reduction so you'll be studying complete reduction and partial reduction reaction so today we've seen an example of partial reduction where we have prepared an in situ reducing agent which is sodium disulfide prepared by adding sulfur to sodium sulfide and then adding this in situ prepared reducing agent to my reactant which is dissolved in hot boiling water gradually drop by drop with constant boiling and stirring till you get the yellow colored precipitate of your product which is meta nitro anilin so you have out of the two nitro groups only one has been reduced so i think this is an, an example of a partial reduction reaction using an in situ reducing agent i hope it is clear to everyone